Hi, good morning. Uh, today we will learn how to do the high pressure dilatometer test SPD. Uh, in t uh, other terms, it is also called TMT, pressure meter test. Uh, this uh, high pressure dilatometer test is mostly done in the rock, while TMT pressure meter test is done in the granular portion, the sand. Uh, so, uh, to perform a high pressure dilatometer test, we need to drill a borehole. Okay up to certain depth and we need to take out the sample like the one which is which has been placed here it's uh, gypsum with mudstone uh, it's a mudstone with gypsum inclusions and the test depth uh, was approximately at 14 meter from 14 to 15 so the center will come at 14.5 then after we need to uh, go to the tools which we are using in the hpd this is the probe which has been put inside the casing now for uh, the KP calibration. So uh, we connect the hose. This is the hose which is for uh, the water intake. This is the electrical cable which is connected to the computer. And uh, this is the outer casing through which we are doing the calibration inside. So we will proceed towards the system that uh, actually we are using oil this is a touch pad which is connected to the uh, oil uh, what is that called the uh, acquisition box and this box is uh, getting power from the battery from the battery right here this is uh, getting power from the battery so the battery has been connected through the wire to the acquisition box and from the acquisition box the laptop i mean the tablet is also getting charged and uh, this is the pump Hydro the pump it's filled from water we fill water from here from right here and this is connected to the uh, this water hose is connected to the probe the other side i already have shown so first we need to do what we need to close it all the way towards the close side and then we need to uh, turn on the computer the computer turns on and then we uh, use to begin our test which i will further show it right here in the video this is the oil uh, system the touchpad got login automatically it will go normally to the software which is the last log log like this the system got opened first of all we need to uh, use the touch pen go to the settings and turn on the probe like this okay then for the calibration we need to go to the uh, view settings no sorry we need to go to the settings and then we need to uh, uh, select the option kp gain correction so we need uh, to press the kp correction and the calibration is started we need to apply the pressure slowly okay slowly the pressure and then the calibration values are coming right here we uh, when we reach up to the pressure mpa 20 mpa then uh, the kp gain correction is completed and the calibration for the rubber is uh, completed in this way so then we, we we just stop and we press ok but here we are not doing it so we will cancel it okay we will close it we will close this one as well to start a test same like in the setting the probe is already on we go to the measure we put the date here but there is not right uh, always required because we already have set it to the default like every folder is being saved on the uh, mentioned date then we write the borehole number that like the one we have mentioned has trial we just edit and write the borehole number like if I'm writing the borehole number, this okay. 
then we write the file id whatever the test for example test number one two three we are writing like 0.001002 like that okay like we will write here one like seven okay then the depth from like for example in this case we were doing at 14.5 okay then we start measure and the test is uh, started then we apply the pressure slowly keeping the uh, knob at the closed position the test is has been started now we are applying pressure slowly and then we are getting some curves and uh, there are few cycles depending on the strength of the rock like uh, for mudstone for gypsum for sandstone and uh, whenever in this system we feel that we are applying much pressure and we need to perform much struggle with the pump it means that the rock is too weak and we have to stop the test and terminate the test at that time or if we are not getting any change in the diameter in the radius here uh, continuously for three to four readings then we need to stop and we need to offload uh, and then we need to load it again so it depends on the rock type which uh, rock we are dealing with uh, normally in gypsum with mudstone inclusion or inclusion of uh, mudstone with gypsum we need to be careful because uh, uh, that is the situation is getting sometime a little bit uh, complex uh, we can damage the, the rubber uh, but we are getting some certain uh, graphs which is uh, like a curve called yield then we need to get the values at which time we need to come down and then we need to load it again and the normal uh, loading and offloading is like for example we go to 4 MPA then we need to come half of that in the first cycle in the second cycle we need to go to 8 and we need to come half of that which is 4 and again we need to uh, load it again go up to the maximum position and uh, to achieve our uh, um, curve properly and then we can uh, get the end we can stop the test and the test is stopped then in the system we go to end program then ok then if we want to chase our uh, result we need to go to dedata and here's a folder by the date of the day and the result is right here we can also check the graph inside the system and uh, we can get all the results right here so this is the whole system i have i hope you got uh, all the basic information regarding hpd and uh, uh, this is the elastic adapter which is actually converting the uh, data digitally through the system this is like a part of the position box